as opposed to control.parent and control.naming container which allows you to traverse up the control tree. The control.controls property allows you to traverse down. This property is a controls collection returning the immediate child controls. Using the quick watch in debug mode, you can efficiently browse the controls properties, such as text, CSS class, control, and more. This video will show you how you can identify the child controls inside different controls. The first target will be a panel with a text literal inside of it. Second will be a panel with a rad button. Third will be an ASP table with a table header row, table row, and controls in each. Finally, there will be one rad grid with different columns. Start off by placing a breakpoint in the pre-render event of the page. When the breakpoint is hit, open the quick watch and type in the panel's ID followed by the controls property. Expand the results in the quick watch and inspect the properties of the controls property. Panel 1.control.count shows there is one control in it. Expand the results view on the bottom of the list to see which is the one control that resides in this panel. Text in ASP.NET are treated as literal controls. You can further expand the literal control to find out more about that. It inherits from the control class and has many of the properties a control would have. Check the text property to see the text represented by this literal control. Repeat the process with panel 2. Type panel2.controls. Inspect the properties. The count returns 3. Expand the results view to find out more about those controls. This shows two literal controls and one rad button. In ASP.NET, line breaks are treated as literal controls. Expanding the rad button object will then allow you to observe all the properties that belong to it. Moving on to table one. Its control.count returns two, and if expanding the results view, that will show which two controls those are. The table header row and the table row. You can also access controls by their index if you want to save time by not expanding and scrolling on the control tree. The controls collection of the first control in table one yields another control, and that is the table header cell. The table header cell contains three controls on its own, a label, a literal control used for breaking the line, and the link button. Accessing its third control, the link button in this case, will then reveal the properties of that control. Moving on to Rad Grid 1. If you prefer, you can always expand the tree in the Quick Watch window to find out more about the object. You can find all properties that are not visible with IntelliSense. The direct child controls of Rad Grid vary depending on what the functionalities, properties, are enabled. In this video, the Grid Group panel, Grid Table View, and ASP panels are visible. Grid Table View is the most commonly used control as that one contains the important part such as the columns, rows, cells, and more. Expanding the Grid Table View will reveal two controls, the table and one more. The table contains the important information and expanding that will reveal the rows. Notice that among the grid data items, or the grid rows, there are edit form items. Although they are not rendered on the page at all times, they are still part of the controls collection. Grid data items contain grid table cells, and those contain the controls created using grid columns.